A recent string of violence in Troy, a shooting at a secret nightclub is leading to calls for action. On News and ABC, Spencer Tracy explaining how the community taking a stance now demanding change in their neighborhood. They've always been good neighbors, and so we want to go back to that relationship. The party events and banquet hall in Troy was known for weddings and family events. That is until the owner leased it to a new tenant. For the past year, it's become a source of noise complaints, trash, and neighbors' worst nightmare, an overnight shooting that happened last Friday. And then we didn't realize it that she was having these parties out of code, and then this weekend, um, unfortunately, there was a shooting there. The owner, who's super responsible, leased it uh, to, unfortunately, an irresponsible uh, person who took advantage of the lease, uh, ended up having nightclub activities there. Troy City Council President Carmela Mantello and District 2 Councilor Kim Ash McPherson holding a special meeting tonight for neighbors to share concerns. Troy Police Code Enforcement and Landlord Brad Stevens heard their complaints and say changes are coming. He ceased the lease, he locked the doors to party, and um, right now, though, it's an empty banquet house. Stevens, who did not wish to speak on camera, tells News 10 he plans to renovate the building and repair its reputation. The former tenant who was running the off the books nightclub has not been identified and did not attend tonight's meeting. Neighbors look forward to more celebrations, but ones that don't put others in danger. It's what we want everybody to have a good time and go home safe at the end of the night. Reporting in Troy, I'm Spencer Tracy, News 10, ABC.